Well, the crowd enjoying themselves, but again, players need a bit of hush to concentrate. O'Sullivan looking for one more frame, Ali Carter trying to pile pressure on, make this closer. It does take me back a little bit to the days at the Wembley Conference Centre when the likes of Jimmy White and especially Alex Higgins was playing. The, you know, the crowd's more vocal then. There's been a few shouts tonight that have not been all that welcome, but as I say, in the past, we've seen all sorts happening in this London Masters, wherever it's been played. Higgins beat Steve Davis at the conference centre. There was a, a crowd invasion. There was people out there all around the table when Higgins uh, celebrated the win. It wasn't the final either. It was just one of the early rounds. Cue ball has found its way back to bulk. Yeah, there's, so, there's certain players in any sport, and snooker's no different, they just attract adoration. Of course, Jimmy White did, Alex Higgins, and Ronnie O'Sullivan is in that lineage. It's not hard to see why, is it? The, the thrilling nature of the way they go about their business, I think. Absolutely. I think, and a lot of people here will play snooker maybe socially, but you'd like to see people do something that you know you can't do if you live to be 300 you couldn't play the way that that those guys do yeah, he played it with a trace of left of center striking just to sort of take it around the angles as you do but it it reacted quite a lot and as you saw no contact was made Carter probably has to attack a few here now from this position. Well, has O'Sullivan broken him? That's the question. You know, he's played brilliantly all week, and I think he's played really well today, but O'Sullivan might have just made a few cracks appear. This is a swerve like earlier. This time he gets it right. No colour. So Please no real green ball. damage done. He nominates green. Ronnie O'Sullivan one. I, I would be surprised if Carter had lost his fight or his edge because he he's really has never been his style. He looks like it, only so much he can do at this game. Is there another rally in him? Or has he got more? Right now, the answer may not be in the positive. No, he's gone from making the running in the final to playing catch-up, and of course, the point of no return really has left an opener here in this bare pit atmosphere at the Alexandra Palace. <laughs> Remember, 17-1 on the personal head-to-head -to, -head to O'Sullivan coming in. And there's been some close matches in there, but he keeps on coming out the right side of it. He has his chance again here. Three. Four.
Well, obviously the red by the, the black. Ten. Was, uh, the one he was honing in on. Black might pot anyway from where it is. 11. I don't think he could have got any straighter than that, playing it left-handed with sort of holding drag. A hard shot to play with your correct hand. <coughs> so now he can see the winning line somewhere not... 18. ...right there yet, but it's, it's looming. And he's played very well today, Nancy. O'Sullivan, because he's been put under pressure. The, the kind of pressure he's been almost been sort of buying other people to place him under. And I think Carter's done that. It's the best performance I've seen from O'Sullivan for a while. He played great in the UK, but final. But overall, maybe today, it's been even better. Others well, might not agree, but... Seems to know 25. the matches to really focus on. It gets better as the tournament goes on. Well, building a useful lead here. 32. In the 17th frame. He's looked completely zoned in tonight. 33. 39. 40. Now, this time, he just screws in and out of the bunch. He must wanted to stun them a little 47. more. Which means he's lost the cue ball, but there's, I think, a red that goes to left middle. If it went in, yeah, it's a difficult shot. This is a shot again. He just screws out of them a little bit. I was going to say it might have been match ball. It wasn't easy. Settle down now, please. Ali Carter hanging on here. 9-7 down, 44 behind. Oh, a couple of people were shouting, you've got it. Just stayed out. That could be his last shot. Yeah, from that low angle, it looked good at the start, didn't it? But clearly, that but part of the pocket is not the right you. one. Yeah, this shot. Surely, if this goes in, then O'Sullivan is almost there. One. Hard to think, realistically, that Carter would come back to the table with a live chance from this position. This is where we can close out this Masters. Well, he's just an extraordinary character, isn't he, in our sport? Eight. Ronnie O'Sullivan can be divisive. You can love him, you can hate him, you can agree with him, you can disagree with him, you can support him or not support him. What you can't do is ignore him. Well, he's not won yet. Now, that is a surprise. The stage was set there for the finale, and it's not over yet. Wow, wow, wow. Can you believe that? He seemed a bit hesitant, didn't he? He looked at another shot. Right. Can you keep your voice down, please? Thank you. Otherwise, you will have to go. Thank you. Yeah, 
Well, I'm afraid the challenge has petered out and it's done so in the last couple of frames because he's had a couple of chances this frame. That was the worst miss the crowd might have got to him, but he's not really going to blame them. He's been beaten by the man on the table, not the people in the, in the audience. They've been vocal, but they've had a great day. And most of them are seeing their hero win. Eight. Well, he didn't kill it off on the last visit, but now he needs this red. Nine. So, as at the UK Championship, he's come to another major tournament where he was already the youngest winner, and he's going to be the oldest. You just wonder where this story is going to end. 48 years of age, still right at the top of the game. And he's going to go to the World Championship in April with a chance to make it 8-8-8 for the three biggest titles in our sport. Quite extraordinary. Well, it'll end one day, but that day is not anywhere near, clearly, that he can still pick up these huge events in snooker. Huge ev events. Against all the very best around him. Well, he's still that man, isn't he? There's no argument there. Thirty. Settle down now, please. Thirty-one. For an eighth time, Ronnie O'Sullivan is the master. Ali Carter put him under pressure. He led 6-3. Once again, the great man responded. Ronnie O'Sullivan, the champion at Alexandra Palace. Ten frames to seven.